Okay, so I recently posted a poll that I'm going to show you here that I thought was pretty interesting. Uh, would you rather make twenty thousand dollars profit with a hundred thousand invested, or seven thousand dollars with ten thousand invested? Uh, so this is the poll that I uh, posted. Would you rather make twenty thousand profit a month with a hundred thousand invested, or seven thousand profit a month with ten thousand invested? Uh, so when I posted this, I thought it was going to be uh, very one-sided, and it actually was one-sided. Um, but uh, basically, the scenarios here is um, basically this option: the twenty thousand a month with a hundred thousand invested is something like online arbitrage or eBay to Amazon. Um, most of them, honestly, you're going to have to have more than that invested if you're going to actually want to make 20,000 profit a month, unless you're FBMing something super hot. Um, but yeah, this is more of an online arbitrage, eBay to Amazon, um, using your money to make you money type of approach. Um, kind of a best case scenario uh, for most people. Mo I, Honestly, I don't think most people are even making 10K profit a month with online arbitrage. Um, but then there are outliers who are making like uh, like 600K a year with online arbitrage um, and vice versa um, everywhere in between. Um, but kind of like a like if you're doing well with online arbitrage, like 20,000 profit a month is doing very well, I think. Um, and then this was basically... Um, kind of best case scenario in my brain for, again, there's people doing better than this. Uh, there's people doing um, more like solid but average numbers, more in the like two, $3,000 profit a month range with books. Um, but this is more of like a books option. Um, this is, um, like you're, you're not going to have more, you don't need to have more than $10,000 invested if you're selling like used books on Amazon FBA. Um, and Stella's going to come say hi, actually, she's not. Um, but yeah, both of these are, are different uh, points of view, uh, different business models. And I don't really think that there is a like 100% objective right answer to this. Um, I think people thought that um, someone messaged me and they were like, what is the right answer to this or the smart answer to this? And I'm like, uh, it's subjective. Like I just kind of posted this. I was curious what people thought. Um, and I thought it was going to be very one-sided to the other way. I thought everyone was going to want to make 20,000 profit a month. Um, and like making the profit was more important to them than how much money was invested. Um, but I guess I was wrong. Um, it was interesting. This person posted the psychology in this poll is it explains resellers who understands the game and have done their risk analysis and due diligence and novices who are starting out and testing the game. Those who have been reselling a long time can confidently go with option A. Um, I like that comment. I think I'll, I'll, it's like pretty true, honestly. Um, except I didn't really have a ton of psychology. I was kind of just curious. Um, and it was funny. Um, it was like pretty one-sided at the start. And then he posted this and a lot more people uh, chose this. Um, so I thought it was funny because people started choosing option A after he said that. Um, but yeah, I 100% I thought people would want to uh, choose 20,000 profit a month uh, with 100K invested because um, mostly from my point of view with this, um, you're going to make a lot more financial pro uh, progress if you're actually making 20,000 profit a month uh, rather than like five to seven. Um, I hear lots of people complain about how they um, are kind of hardly able to make ends meet even with five to seven K a month, uh, which I think is kind of crazy. I feel like that's more than enough. Um, I had a friend, I had a friend recently who makes 150 K a year and he doesn't think he can become a millionaire in a, um, like even within like 15 years, like he just 
kind of has resigned that he's just going to spend his money. Um, and I mean, like it, it, it's still going to take a long time with 150 K a year. Um, that's not quite, quite 20 K profit a month. Um, but you can make some really significant progress, um, in like saving towards retirement with 20,000 profit a month, even with 10,000 profit a month. Um, but like at like five to seven, um, I feel like most people aren't going to be making a ton of uh, progress. Um, but then the other side of it is this person is saying risk 10 X to make three X. Yeah. I'd rather invest 90 K elsewhere. Um, and that's like a good point. Um, but at the same time, it's like, where else are you going to make uh, like 100K from or where else are you going to make 20% per month? Uh, basically nowhere. And the thing about this, too, is that um, I didn't talk about time, how long it was going to take. Um, I basically just said, and you'll have to excuse the mowers outside. We just got to make videos when we can make videos. But um I was just assuming relatively full-time effort, the same amount of time for both of these. Um, you could make this more interesting um, if you say like one was less time than the other, because honestly, if you have a, a streamlined OA business, it's going to be less time than even this where you're making less money. Um, so yeah, like where are you going to invest 90 K to make, like $15,000 profit a month. Uh, you're just not, uh, the thing is, is, um, it's not just investing. It's like a business or something that you're spending your time on. Um, unless you have a, a full on team. So yeah, I just posted this. I was curious. I really thought everyone was going to choose this. Um, there definitely is a part of me sometimes that, um, would love to not have this much invested um, and be more in a higher margin uh, business model, uh, even more so. Um, I mean, honestly, online arbitrage people would say that my business model is massively high margin um, and it is quite high margin. Um, but um, not having so much money invested is pretty cool as well. Um, so it's just pros and cons. I don't think there's a right answer. Um, but this was just helpful for me to think about and hopefully helpful for you to think about for what you actually want your business to be. Because at the end of the day, if you're self-employed and you have the skills, you can kind of make it whatever you want it to be. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Uh, if this video helped you out, please feel free to subscribe.